Me, I'm not dumb. I know Americans carry guns. So I'm just looking at her bag. Because anyhow, she tries to pull something out of her bag. I'm going to... But! But! I was thinking, yeah? Pull the strap out of your bag. I'm going to pull your bag with the strap. But! On your head. That's what I was thinking. So I was looking at her bag while I'm arguing with her. Like, thinking, she's going to pull the strap. She's going to pull the strap. So... She, so I'm just there. I'm just there. She's talking. I'm just like, God, why? I just didn't want to be... I just knew it. I didn't want to be here. I just knew I should have never been here. So I'm like, to my friend, I knew we should have never been here. So then my friend's like, I know, man. So then she looks at my friend. And she's like to my friend, you ugly. You black and ugly. I don't know why you talking. I said, don't call my friend ugly, bitch. Don't call my friend ugly. You're ugly. And then she's like, your friend tied... Tie the, top, tie the back of her top with elastic band. Who does that? That's ghetto. That's ghetto. I was like, how are you watching my friend even and leave her alone? Like, she just starts attacking my friend talking about she's ugly and black. I said, excuse me, bitch. Bear in mind, she's dark skin. So she's telling my friend she's ugly and black. Meanwhile, you are looking like a crackhead with a gold teeth in your 40s and they're telling me you're on the phone to your mom. That's what she said as well. I'm talking on the phone to my mom. So anyway, my cousin comes in the shop because at this she, before the argument, she left the shop to get something. She comes in the shop, she hears us arguing. We're like going back and forth arguing. So my cousin, she goes back out the shop and gets her gun. And I'm like, no, I do not want to die in America. I don't want to die here. And I don't want to kill nobody. And I don't want to do life. Please put the gun away. She didn't pull it out, but she had it and I saw it. And she was like, what's going on? What is going on? What a black cloud I go on. What a black cloud. Cause she speaks American or Jamaica. With a black cock, I got it. That's all. I'm like, cuz it's it's fine. Don't worry. Just let's get out of here. Just it's just just don't worry. I'm gonna have time for that right now. This this year is not my year. I gotta go another other year. It's not not right now. I got stuff to do. So I'm like, let's just go. But yeah, girl. This is back to America. It's crazy. And Americans won't understand what I'm saying. They might take offense and say, what are you talking about? But when you don't come from here, you would really see. Because when you're on the outside, you know, you've got to be, you got on, you got to be on the outside to look on the inside to really like understand what the fuck is going on. But when you're on the inside, you can't really tell how mad it is. But when you're from the outside, you don't come from madness and you go into madness, you can see how fucked up it is. So there. America is crazy and I will not take it back and I don't care who's offended. This country is mad. People are mad. So then my cousin's like, so then I told my American friends this story, right? They're like, yeah, niggas, niggas, bitches will shoot you. I was like, I know. That's why I was looking at her bag and thinking if she pulls it out, I'm gonna whack her in the head. I was not scared of her. I was scared of the guy in New York though, because he was crazy. This woman is crazy, but you know what I'm saying? I'll fire. <laughs>